What's up guys this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming review of Realme 7 5G smartphone by playing few of the most high end heavy graphics game and we will check that this device that comes with a 120Hz refresh rate screen can actually play the games on 120fps or not. Along with the gaming performance we will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any heating issue. So here we go. So these are the games we got today here on our Realme 7 5G. Few of them are regular games and few of them can run on 120 FPS. For this testing purpose, we will use the performance mode to get the best performance out of the device. And under the game space setting, we will use the competition mode to get the best performance out of Realme 7 5G. Right now the battery temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and the CPU temperature is 29 and the battery percentage is 55. So let's just start our test and let's see how good this device is going to perform. So first of all let's start with the Dead Trigger 2. This game can run at 120 FPS. So here in the game setting of Dead Trigger 2 you can see that by default 90 FPS is coming on high graphics and there is no option for 120 fps but if you remember in our gaming review of samsung galaxy note 20 ultra the very same game was able to run at 120 fps even if i switch to low graphics quality the fps limit is not going more than 90 fps so it's better to play the game at high graphics and 90 fps and let's have a look how good it's going to be so the graphics quality is very nice here as you can see especially if you have a look on the bricks lots of detail here also on the zombies and everything great amount of detail is there it's very nice There is no frame drop or lagging, everything is very smooth. And you can see that we are getting 60 FPS here while playing this game. The thing is that when I'm switching to the game space widget, then the game is getting paused. And I died. But you could see that the gaming performance was quite nice here for sure. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch to the low graphics quality and see whether we are going to get any better performance than 60 fps or not so we are still getting 60 fps no improvement in performance even after reducing the graphics quality to low here as you can see but it seems very smooth doesn't matter whether it's at 90 fps or 60 fps you can see it's extremely smooth i think when i'm switching here to the game space widget then the game is getting paused and that's why it is not showing more than 60 fps because now i can feel it that it's extremely smooth much better compared to what I was getting earlier on the high graphics quality and 90 FPS. So it's much better now for sure. You can see how smooth it is when I'm changing the camera angles and all.
so now let's go back from here let's have a look on the battery status so it's at 52 percent now and right now the battery temperature is 30 and cpu temperature is 35 so it's very slightly increased in terms of temperature but it's very normal 30 and 35 degrees celsius it's not hot at all and now let's play altos or dc so the graphics quality is just beautiful and we are getting once again 60 fps as you can see here switching between 59 60 and 61 so this game can run at 120 fps as well but as you can see that the best performance we are getting from realme 7 5g is only 60 fps but the gameplay is very smooth and the graphics quality is so good as well okay here we go but as you can see that the performance was so good it was able to run this game at 60 fps not at 120 or 90 but the graphic quality was good no frame drops or lagging happened so let's close this one once again let's have a look on the battery status so it's at 51 percent battery temperature is 31 cpu temperature is 36 just one degree celsius increase in the temperature first let's close it now let's play cover fire this game can run at 120 fps as well so let's have a look on it so here in the game setting you can see that i have selected high graphics quality and 120 fps let's play the game and let's see how much fps we are going to get on this graphic setting So you can see that we are getting around 60 fps once again it seems that because of the high graphics quality but so now i'm going to reduce the graphics quality to low still keeping the fps at 120 and let's see whether we are going to get any improvement or not so a bit better 62 60 fps but not too much difference as you can see here so it seems that it's getting capped at 60 fps does not matter what is the graphics quality setting here But the graphics quality is really nice and it's very smooth as well there is no frame drops or lagging as you can see here it's so good and the game was able to run at 60 fps doesn't matter if it was on high graphics quality or low graphics quality and now the battery temperature is 32 cpu temperature is 37 and the battery percentage is 50 Let's close cover fire and now let's play Call of Duty Mobile.
so this game can be run only at 60 fps but this is the one of the most high and heavy graphics game and one of the most popular one as well so here in the graphics setting of call of duty mobile you can see that by default graphics quality is selected as medium and frame rate as medium as well so i'm going to switch to high frame rate while keeping the graphics quality and medium and let's see how much fps and the performance we are going to get from this device So as you can see it's quite smooth here, the graphics quality is also nice. If you have a look on the ground, the sky and all of these. So everything is very nice and smooth and the graphics quality is great. If you have a look for example on the camo here we got on this gun everything is so nice. The 3D graphics rendering is so good. Viewfinder here and So there is no frame drop, no lagging while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Realme 7 5G on medium graphic quality and high frame rate. And we are getting around 62 FPS as you can see here. So on average we can consider it as 60 FPS. It's not getting more than 60. So I guess you will be able to play Call of Duty Mobile without facing any issue on this device as it's so nice, the graphic quality is good and it's very smooth as you can see here no frame drops or lagging happening at all so let's close call of duty mobile so cpu is at 30 degrees celsius now 39 battery is at 34 and the battery percentage is 48 now it's time to play the last game for today and that's going to be the pubg mobile so here in the graphic setting you can see by default HD and high is selected for PUBG Mobile. 
and if I go to HDR you can see it is not available so let's play the game on HD graphics quality and high frame rate and let's see how good it's going to be so the graphics quality seems very nice especially if you have a look on the costume of the character here you can see that when I'm changing the camera angle then how nice is the lighting and shadowing effect on the shoulder of the character also if you have a look on the crown lots of detail seems quite nice for sure so once again you can see that the graphics quality is so nice pretty smooth once again you can see no lagging is happening and we are getting around 30 fps here while playing PUBG mobile on realme 7 5g it's not getting better than 30 fps So now I'm just going to change the graphics setting a bit and let's see whether we are going to get any better FPS or not. So here if I'm going to smooth or balanced I'm able to get the ultra. So I'm switching to ultra now and yes it's getting better. It moved from 30 to now 41 FPS so this is kind of good. But I guess this is the maximum FPS we can get. Let me switch to even lower graphics quality. Let's play it on a smooth. So we are still getting around 40 FPS. Maximum it went was 42. But it's pretty smooth. The best part is that the device is not even getting warm at all because most of the time if you play PUBG Mobile then the device starts getting hot. So everything is nice and smooth here as you can see and we are able to get around 42-40 FPS on ultra FPS so it's quite nice and you will be able to play the game smoothly without facing any issue because you can see it's very smooth here no frame drops or lagging is happening even on the higher graphics quality while playing PUBG Mobile on Realme 7 5G here.
so now I'm just gonna leave the game here and let's have a look on the battery status one more time so the battery percentage is 46 battery temperature is 34 and the CPU temperature is 39 so this is quite impressive that the device is not even getting warm even though we are playing the high competitive mode in, under the game space the performance mode is on and we were playing all of these high-end games for like 45 minutes this is the duration of this video recording and still the performance is very nice and considering that the battery performance is also very good it reduced just 9% after playing all of these games on the highest possible graphic setting on the highest possible device setting as well like competitive mode and performance mode and still there is no issue at all so this is quite nice and if you're a gamer you will be able to play most of the high-end heavy graphics game on the moderately high graphics setting and frame rate without facing any issue so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day